Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of dividing whole numbers and unit fractions. This is standard 5.3L in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 13 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Cyril put a total of one eighth pound of gravel, that's not very much, into six fish tanks, same amount. So we've got equal groups. So equal groups lets me know that we're going to be looking at multiplication or division. We want to know how many pounds of gravel Cyril put into each fish tank. Well, let's first see if we can figure out what we're doing here with a strip diagram. So we have our total right there. So not a whole lot, but we'll go ahead and put it 1 8 pounds right there. LB is our abbreviation for pound. And we're going to divide it into six fish tanks. So it looks like we're going to be doing division. Let's draw that right here. So let's see. We're going to put thirds and thirds. And there we go. We've got sixths. So how do we divide... 1 8th by 6. That's kind of interesting. So this doesn't really help us, the strip diagram. This at least gives us the operation, division. But I'm going to draw a picture, and so let's see if we can do this. I'm going to draw it kind of large so that we could at least kind of get a visual of what we're doing here. I'm going to draw 8ths right here. But I want to draw my eighths big enough so that I can at least divide those eighths. Because that's what it says we have. That it says we have one eighth. And so I'm going to just kind of shade this in a little bit with some stripes. So here's my total. Here's my one eighth right there. And it says what I need to do is I need to divide that into six smaller pieces. Well, I can do that. I'm going to cut it in half like this, cut it in thirds this way. Now we have the same amount in each tank, so here we go. I'm going to take this little tiny chunk right here, and that's it. That's my answer. Equals whatever in the world that little chunk is. I took my eighth, and I broke it up into six equal pieces, and that's what that is. So how do we figure out what that is? We've got our answers over here, A, B, C, and D. Well, one thing we can do is we can say to ourselves, well, if we t broke this eighth into six pieces, and what if we did that? What if we broke the rest of these into six pieces? What would we have? Well, we would have six, well, I got eight sixes, so let me do six times 8, that's going to get me 48. So really, if I were to break all of these up into these little tiny pieces, I would get 48. And hopefully you notice that there is a connection here. 6 and 8. And here is a trick. So when you divide by a number, it's also the same as... I'm going to say division is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now that's a big word. But reciprocal simply means the exact opposite of a number. The number you multiply by another number to make it equal to 1. So with whole numbers it's pretty easy. So 6 and its reciprocal is 1 sixth. Because if you make 6 into a fraction 6 over 1 you notice how those are the same right there. And those are the same right there. And if you were to multiply these two, you would get 6 over 6, which is 1. And so we can actually use that here. Instead of 1 eighth divided by 6, we can do 1 eighth multiplied by its reciprocal, 1 sixth. And that's actually what we did. We got 1 48th. That's what this little guy is right here. 1 48th of a pound. And our answer is... See.